For the past several months, I've been working on my texturing skill and sharing what I learned here. During this time, I found 10 add-ons that are both paid and free that will definitely improve your texturing workflow in Blender. Yuko Paint is the best Blender texturing add-on that makes creating hand-drawn textures super easy. It can also be used for realistic textures as it works using layers. With the 2.2.0 update, it has improved functionality and improvement like the collapsible layer groups and setting UI changes. It has features like vector displacement maps as sculpt layers, stack layers into multiple channels, and real-time displacement layers and so much more. Well, talking about stylized shaders, the Komukaze add-on is an asset pack of over 200 stylized shaders that will help you create that tune style or anime style art in Blender. The asset pack comprises of modifiers and composition effects. Most of the shader only works with UV, but with some simple workaround, it will also work in cycles too. So just drag and drop from the asset browser and you're ready to go. Another asset pack that is packed is the Santos Woodwork. This collection has over 130 wood procedural materials and geometry generators to create quick visualizations. These materials are smart materials, meaning they change according to the scale of the objects to match properly. These materials are also very customizable with the sliders. No need for proper UV wrapping. Just slap on your objects and you're ready to go. It also has a lot of other great products like the procedural material library. So check it out. Another powerful add-on that you need to add to your belt is the Shader Plus add-on. This add-on brings industry standards effects directly to Blender, like real-time caustics, thin film interface, and dispersion. With over 69 presets for you to choose from and a lot of customizable shaders to get exactly what you want. Just a disclaimer, I'm not affiliated to any of these add-ons. I'm not even monetized here yet. So subscribe and share this video if you find it helpful. Learning how to create procedural shaders can be daunting. That's where the node preview add-on comes into play. This add-on will help you preview your nodes for you to see and understand what's going on. And for any edits to happen, it automatically updates. I found this on Reddit that there was a built-in preview in the 4.1 update, but it was removed. Well, that's a shame. Mapping your textures will be difficult without having a chord base mesh. And this add-on helps remesh your object properly, fix messy booleans, and keeps your geometry clean and create a quad topology without having used to start from scratch during a boolean operation and reduce the amount of cleanup you have to do after. So check out this add-on now. Zen UV is the go-to add-on for UV mapping in Blender. And now with the version 5.0 updates, it comes with a lot of features like the Zen Gizmo, which allows you to do this set of actions to a UV island, a trim sheet system, a stack system that allows you to stack and unstack similar or non-similar UVs on top of each other, plus many other features for your UV needs. Want to add photorealism to your objects really fast? Then the quick roughness layer add-on is for you. By adding a roughness map in layers, you can add surface imperfection and with that roughness map, you can control the roughness amounts and contrast on the object. You can also limit the effect of each layer by using the Z max. With this add-on, you can go from this to this really fast. Still talking about adding imperfections to your models in Blender, this add-on Grungit adds edge wear and tear to your objects in Blender with a single click, adding patches and grunge to your model. This add-on is compatible with Eevee. This is great for anyone that wants quick results and not waste precious time stacking up nodes. Import as decals is a great add-on for quickly adding decals on your models in Blender. It adds them to the scene and slaps itself on the object using the shrink wrap on the fire. You can adjust the look of the decal from the end panel like the contrast, scratches, roughness and damages on the decal. Definitely a quick and easy way to add an extra touch to your objects, making them more realistic. And that's it for this video. If you want to learn how to create procedural textures, check out my material playlist that I am always updating. Thank you for watching.